Oh, are you on metformin 500 milligrams and are you struggling with its side effects? Tips and advice on how to avoid these side effects coming up. What is metformin and how does it work? Metformin is a prescription drug to treat diabetes. It also plays a role in the treatment of polycystic ovarian syndrome. The mainstay of treatment and management of diabetes is diet and exercise coupled with lifestyle changes such as weight loss. It works in three ways. It decreases the amount of glucose produced in your liver. It decreases the amount of glucose absorbed from your gut and it also improves the way your body responds to insulin. Dosages of metformin. In this video we'll talk about the 500 milligram dose of metformin as this is the dose you'll start off with. There are different forms and strengths of metformin which you are seeing right here and you can be familiar uh, with them if your doctor decides to titrate your dose up. And if you're an older adult, check with your doctor if metformin is the right drug for you. Elderly patients are more likely to have renal problems and this drug can be contraindicated. What are the most common side effects? There are several and the most common ones are GI side effects such as nausea and vomiting, stomach pain, diarrhea, heartburn, forming gas, feeling fatigued and headache. Some patients complain about a metallic taste in their mouth. When do I have to call my doctor right away? If you're having an allergic reaction to the medication, you'll have feelings of difficulty breathing, shortness of breath, wheezing, a rash, or even hives. You might even have bad stomach pain with repeated episodes of vomiting or diarrhea, or even have unusual muscle pain. These could all be signs of a bad side effect called lactic acidosis when there's too much acid in your blood. You might even have signs of low blood sugar. You'll feel weak, shaky and dizzy. You might even start sweating, feeling confused with a rapid heartbeat. If you want to find out in which medical conditions your doctor will have to stop prescribing this drug, click on this link above to find out which ones. And if you're finding value in this video, don't forget to like, comment and share and click on that notification bell and hit the subscribe button as well. And how can you avoid side effects? Start at the lowest dose and titrate up. You'll be advised to take the dose of 500 milligrams with your dinner. This is done not only to minimize side effects but to also help reduce your higher blood glucose in the morning. Your doctor will advise to take this for about one to two weeks and if you're tolerating this then another dose of metformin can be added in the morning with your breakfast. This can be taken for another one to two weeks as long as you can tolerate the dose. And if you can tolerate the dose a third dose can be added at lunchtime but I usually recommend against that and the reason is pretty easy to understand. You want to keep things simple and manageable. And then in my experience, I found out if you're on too many medications or too many medication changes or the frequency of the medications I changed too often, this reduces the compliance of our patients. Please have this discussion regarding this with your doctor. Your doctor might also want to switch you to an extended release medication if you're experiencing side effects. This also simplifies how many pills you need to take. Did you know that metformin can also affect your B12 level? Click on this link above to find out more. In a future video I'll examine whether metformin can cause dementia and I'll add the link probably right here. Question of the day, are you on metformin 500 milligrams and is it causing side effects? And you can see more videos if you click right here or click right here or click right here. Think your health and have a good day. Okay, cut the whole thing. I'm doing this whole thing again. What the heck? And have a good day. And have a good day.